This is my homemade sawmill. I designed it to cut mesquite. The purpose is videos to show you how I made it, how it works. And uh, after we go through all its features, then we'll cut some logs. This is my homemade sawmill. Uh, it has an 11 horse gas engine, uh, 20 inch wheels, uses a 14 foot inch and a quarter 042 curved blade. I, I like a Lennox Woodmaster C. It was designed by me to cut mesquite. I live in South Texas and I love to use mesquite in my woodworking projects. The uh, mesquite is a kind of a crooked tree and it is extremely hard. You need When it dries, you need carbide to work it. And it's not much easier on uh, on sawmills. Uh, so uh, because it's so rugged, I guess the first part of it is it's having a good uh, saw dog system. And I like this system. Uh, it's a three quarter inch galvanized pipe uh, with a one inch galvanized T welded to a inch and a half 11 gauge square tubing with a half inch bar stock at the top that's been sharpened that digs in. Uh, this is what it's like on one side. I tap it in with a sledgehammer and uh, then uh, hold it in place with a spring and a, and a chain set up. It, that, that end of it works rather nicely. Uh, on the other side, I have uh, different length uh, dogs to, to hold it in and keep it properly positioned close to the, uh, the blade. And uh, there's an example of one as to how, they're, how they work. The saw itself, uh, I have uh, wood covers for the blade. I did that because the if a blade ever breaks, and I haven't experienced it, but uh, the thought being that uh, maybe the blade will hit wood and might be salvageable. Uh, it uses uh, B belts on the pulleys, and uh, on the drive side I have uh, the big 20-inch pulley, and then I have a smaller pulley that that's, uh, that's, uh, runs off of it. And uh, it shares the the blade with the I mean the B belt with the blade, and uh, that goes through and is uh, hooked to uh, a clutch that uh, as you rev up the engine the clutch engages and so in effect I have a real good drive system and I don't have to fool with engagement and disengagement I just lower the speed of the engine and everything works good. The uh, uh, engine has an electric start. And that gives me a generator, and so I have a uh, win uh, worn 1700 winch that works real good in raising and lowering the sawing assembly. It's it's just uh, pulleys and and uh, cable, and uh, because that the saw mechanism is so heavy, it's just rock steady and parallel. Uh, I can cut an eighth inch slab of wood from a seven foot board without you know, 24 inches wide and not have it very in thickness at all. It, it amazes everybody that sees it. Uh, the uh, uh, blade changing, I have a uh, socket set up. I use a half inch uh, socket, adjustable socket, and uh, it's 14 pitch thread on one inch bar. So uh, it's, it's easy to, to work. And I just loosen it up, change the blade, tightening it. I just tighten it until it, the blade pretty tight and I when I twing it it doesn't uh, wiggle so that's good the uh, I have uh, four bolts to adjust the the uh, blade the wheel they're five eight inch grade eight bolts uh, that uh, feed through uh, lock nuts uh, metal crimp lock nuts which have been welded to quarter inch plate so they're real steady and I've got the wheel adjusted so that it is perfectly parallel with the drive wheel the idle is perfectly parallel uh, on the when you go around to the other side and we see the other mechanism I only have uh, three here because I have uh, one bolt that goes through the front that just centers it and then I just uh, gently adjust it and I wound up having uh, a 32nd of an inch toe out over uh, actually it's a close to it's a 16th of an inch toe out over a 20 inch uh, wheel and that uh, just helps make sure that the the bandsaw blade is up against the guides. Uh, the guide I made from three inch bar stock. Uh, they use ball bearings. The one on the idle side slides in and out. The one on the drive side is fixed. And uh, the uh, blade, it's real important to get those aligned. So the mechanism allows me to 
to sit there and adjust it so that it it can get be accurate. So it's got to be perfectly parallel with your bed. Uh, this system is rather simple. I just have a large one inch bolt that that tightens up against the uh, inch and a half tubing, and it keeps it steady as can be. The watering system is real simple. It's just a gravity feed comes down through this press fittings that you can get at the home repair store and I have two two uh, on offs to uh, uh, just adjust one permanently and the other one I turn it on and off when I need it. The uh, system is a four post system. I made it from two inch pipe. Uh, if you're going to do this I'd recommend you use schedule 80 pipe because there's a lot of stress when you hit hardwood. The uh, slider mechanism is a two and a half inch uh, uh, heavy pipe and it slides real nice. The uh, drive end is fixed and the uh, idle end is uh, floating and the weight of the mechanism keeps it straight. One of the things that I did that I would highly recommend is I used uh, two inch square tubing that's quarter inch wall and, and welded it up. It is real steady and, and it's parallel so I really, that's the only adjustments I have are, are just uh, toe in toe out. Okay, that's in general. It's just a simple push thing. Uh, when I find that uh, uh, the easiest way to do is don't fight the saw. Let the saw cut the wood. And if you do, you'll come up with a real smooth cut that uh, doesn't take much uh, planning to, uh, to uh, be finished. So let's go cut a couple logs. Okay, we uh, got a nice little piece of wood here, as you can see. It'll be a nice piece. I'm going to make the insides of a blanket chip out of this. So let's cut an extra piece here and see how the saw works. Get her. Put it back. Back with it.
if people would. Be happy, but. There we go, a very nice, clean, straight, thin piece of powder. 